What's up, VK family? It's your boy Vital as always. We appreciate you for joining us on another early review on Vital's YouTube channel with Mr. IH Productions behind the camera. This time, as you already know, our third review in Chicago's newest luxury shootwear boutique, Vital Chinatown. If you haven't already, definitely check out our vlogs, but today's not about that. Today is about a very early pair of Palomino ones that are set to release on September 2nd of this year. As we dive into this sneaker, I know it's highly anticipated and a lot of people are already talking about it even months ago, right? So I know for a fact the community is gonna go crazy, but let's dive into these details because I wanna make it more real and also capture your guys' opinion, right? So as always, throughout the video, make sure you comment and let us know what you love about it, what you hate about it. All right, let's get it. Okay, I lied. I'm gonna need you for one more minute, all right? Since we are in this space of Vital Chinatown, we actually recently just had a private event. Um, that's actually something we do monthly here. So definitely shoot us a follow on this page um, because you can learn more about what we're doing in the community, how we stick out from other streetwear consignment stores, uh, cause we definitely do, okay? And our last event was like a classy Barbie themed photo shoot. We had uh, street photographers come, cinema photographers, photo shoot, I, I don't know. They had a whole bunch of different titles, right? But we found them um, and we got a whole bunch of different models in here too and it was a super dope sellout event, all right? So definitely stay on top of that, guys. Um, but enough about that. I know what you guys are really here for, so let's get it. Throwing off of the box like we always do. Now, if you guys have been watching Vital Reviews, you already know I totally geek out every time they give us something new in terms of the accessories, right? It's not a big deal. We do have a regular Jordan 1 box here, but instead of the red, we're getting a metallic gold logo on the lid and also all sides of the box. Listen, we're paying that premium price anyway, so at the end of the day, any type of customization outside of the norm, I think is appreciated and something we deserve at this point, all right? But enough about that. Let's see these kits. Before I have Mr. Irish Productions get nice and close on these details, guys, let's take a minute to just talk about and appreciate this sneaker, right? There's a reason why the community has been talking about this ever since Jordan Brand released uh, the news that it was coming out, right? Even before the official images and whatnot. Um, first of all, it takes the original color blocking of the first band Jordan 1s, which was the first pair of Jordans or Jordan 1s that Jordan ever wore in the Bulls game, right? And he got fined multiple times. It set a history for the brand. Um, Nike paid every single one of those finds just so that he could wear the band once, right? Um, so I think anytime there's a sneaker with that type of color blocking, that history and that nostalgia just comes back. Um, and that's true for this pair as well, all right? So we're gonna talk about that color blocking a little bit and how it switched up from its original colorway, but the nostalgia is there. On top of that, you guys already know how crazy the community has been going over all these Palomino colorways, such as the threes that just dropped, or the uh, Mocha colorways, right? Such as the Mocha threes, the dark Mocha threes, the light Mocha threes, and then of course the Mocha ones that are somewhere up there as well, right? So I think on top of a very nostalgic color blocking, um, this also gives Mocha vibes, even though they want to switch up the name, all right? So let's dive into these details. Starting off with the sock liner and working our way down, um, you're gonna notice that the sock liner is very similar, if not the same as every other Jordan 1 um, in an all black plush nylon, all right? Um, nothing too crazy there. Again, the color blocking is quite OG or original, um, so I think they strategically did that to keep it the same. Also, not to have too many contrasting colors, so no complaints there. Taking a look at the insole, again, we get that OG feel, having a Nike Air logo on an all black insole. However, this time, just as with the box and other details on this sneaker, that Nike Air logo is in a metallic gold, so it definitely pops. All right, let's check out these uppers. As we move our way down past the sock liner, you're gonna notice that the first hit of color is again in all black with a very smooth, high quality leather. And I say smooth intentionally because it's not tumbled at all, which is something that we're used to seeing a lot more on ones lately, but definitely threes and fours, right? Um, on this pair, it is completely smooth, not tumbled at all. Directly below that, we get our first hit of color, this Palomino Brown on all these black panels and the swoosh. Um, what's really nice about it is that this is a short haired suede, so you're not gonna see too much motion as we move around, um, but I will say it is very buttery and very smooth, right? Continuing to give us that high quality look and feel. Um, and if this looks familiar, it should, because the high demand, um, or super high demand, now grail status Mocha ones also have very similar um, color. 
I want to say maybe the mochas are a little bit darker, um, but in terms of the quality and that short haired suede, quite similar. So if you want a reference on how this is feeling, I would say the mocha ones are really good reference. To top it all off on this panel to make sure that that Palomino really pops, um, we also have a all black Jordan Wings logo um, embossed into this short haired suede. Um, and that in itself just really makes everything pop, at least in this back heel area. Let's move our way down to the rest of the uppers. When we hit the mid panel that surrounds the Palomino Brown swoosh, we're gonna notice again, we have that very smooth, high quality, non-tumbled leather in a deep all black. Again, that was done very strategically just to make sure they stay to that OG color blocking, but it definitely makes that Palomino swoosh pop and you can see it from like a mile away, even though they're just quite similar darker colors. This leather continues to wrap around the entire toe box and make its way to the other side as well. So not too much to talk about there. Similarly, to keep it quite simple, the pair comes with only an all black pair of laces. All right, so it doesn't come with any additional laces or accessories outside of the box, um, which might be disappointing. But again, I think that was strategic intentionally done just to make sure they remain true to their OG roots right making our way up the tongue you're also going to notice the entirety of it is in a black only with a stitched in Nike tag this time in a metallic gold this comes to match the insole but essentially on the whole sneaker uh, from what's visible at least that's going to be the only hit of gold which um tell me how you feel about it right did you think they should have made that palomino brown um white just to make it pop even more or was gold a strategic choice i'm not really sure why they chose to do that here um i'm not mad at it right but i'm just curious what the community thinks do you think they should have chose something different to me um it works right i got a gold ring i, I got a gold chain i like gold i think a little bit of touch just to highlight the sneaker uh definitely works out all right dope let's wrap up the uppers by talking about the last hit of palomino we're seeing which is going to be on that toe box again not much to talk about there it's the second hit of color to really match the back of the sneaker to create that cohesive og color blocking of the band ones um and again that suede quality is pretty amazing all right guys you're just gonna have to see it in hand to really know so let's wrap it up guys because outside of the uppers it really is a simplistic sneaker right making our way to the midsole you're gonna notice that this looks almost white right especially in comparison to the palomino and black which are much darker but when i pull up a pair such as our neutral gray lows um you're immediately gonna see that this is in fact a sale not white like uh, below it right and that was an interesting choice because everything we talked about was like hey this sneaker is so OG, even though they added this new colorway, it's OG because of this, it's OG because of that. White on the midsole would have been more OG in my opinion, right? Just like the Band Jordan ones, because this whole sail wave is definitely something newer. Um, but am I mad at it? Not at all, because I think they did that for a reason, because this is eventually going to turn into this anyways due to aging, right? Um, so I don't think anyone's def you know, going to be too mad about that. I'm not, because cohesively, it all looks very cool. Let's wrap it up with the outsole. As you guys can see, there's not much to talk about. We have an entire Palomino Brown outsole, which uh, continues to stick to its OG color blocking, but definitely matches the rest of the Palomino Browns on the sneaker. And all in all, guys, I just think this is a very clean and cohesive shoe. Um, it's a high demand color. It's a Jordan 1, which uh, isn't as high demand as it was two, three years ago, but definitely still uh, something that the community goes crazy over, right? And on top of all that, guys, just having a nice cohesive looking box with it I think uh, this is definitely gonna be a strong hitter of 2023 especially coming in the fall season right where these colors are even more um, attractive and more sought after okay so that being said guys you already know how we end every one of our reviews with the vitals rating and mr. IH productions is gonna get his chance as well um, but we're gonna talk about how this matches up to the rest of the source collection or even my personal collection on a scale of 1 to 10 okay 10 being the best so um an impromptu answer here it might have changed from the last time i looked at these bad boys but i think on a rating of 10 the palomino ones are gonna be a 8.5 8.5 for me all right and that's pretty high up there especially in comparison to some of the other things that i've compared again guys i just think it's a jordan one which is really cool i love that it is uh the band color blocking which we haven't seen too much recently or at least one that the community really wanted um so i think they went hard on this and um just seeing the high quality materials and the matching accessory as well i for sure know that jordan brand at least put some thought and some care into this all right so it's up there for me uh why is it not a 10 uh I'm not the biggest Jordan 1 guy, right? Even at the, the hip hop of its, uh, the tip top, <laughs> whatever it is, of its hype, uh, where everybody was giving it 10, no matter which colorway it was selling out. Um, I was always like, eh, 
I, I'm more of a threes and fours person, right? So that's the only reason why it's not higher than that. Um, but that being said, guys, Mr. Ice Productions, what do you think? I gotta give it a 7.6. 7.6, okay, okay, we're pretty close. We're not too far off. Why a 7.6? Might, might not get them. Not too crazy, but they look good. Okay, yeah, that totally makes sense to me, and I think a lot of people might feel that way um, if you haven't copped them already, right? Because the release is more or less a few weeks away. It's right around the corner, so I think a lot of us are just seeing. It's, it's going to become a came time decision, right? Um, but that being said, guys, you guys know our ratings, but it isn't what counts. Yours is, okay? So if you agree with Mr. IH Productions, it should be closer to a 7.6, a C- minus or something like that. Put that in the comments below and let us know why, all right? But if you think it's more like the B+, plus, A+, plus world, like your boy, um, um, put it in the comments and let us know why. As always, we want to have some dope conversation and just get to know our following a little bit more. Um, and if you think they're absolutely trash, guys, just just go ahead, just leave. You don't, we don't, you don't even need to leave. <laughs> I'm playing. Share your comments, all right? If you think they're trash, we want to know. We want to have some interaction um, in our community, okay, guys? But as always, um, check us out on social media on all our platforms. Hit that subscription bell. Hit that ring or subscribe, whatever every YouTuber says, all right? Because you guys have been rapidly growing with us and we appreciate it. That being said, guys, we love you and we'll catch you in the next video. BK family, peace.